so hello everyone welcome to another video and this video we are creating uh, tomato leaf disease classification for binary class uh, from the previous model you can check out the model step by step so first of all uh, we are increasing the font size uh, it should be better now there is the libraries matplotlib and the tensorflow module and uh, keras sequential model pre-processing keras layers tensorflow class layers dense activation flight and convert to dmx polling and uh, the last uh, model checkpoint the checkpoint and all the stopping now there are down there is the directory for training and uh, the test so now here is the train and test and uh, the down here there is the size of image 224 now we are going to the data augmentation we are gonna name that uh, data gen and image data generator and there is the rescale the rescale uh, one dot uh, 255 255 uh, means uh, the image uh, will be 256 pixels so we should write uh, uh, 255 because uh, it start from 0 to 255 it is uh, basically used for uh, some images are uh, bright and some images are uh, dark so it will detect uh, all the pixels of images the bright and the dark it will be good for the classifications so it will be almost compulsory now there will be share range the share range it will image share 20 percent just like that and uh, now there the zoom range will be 20 percent uh, and the horizontal flip it will be horizontally flip the image and um, the vertical flap and validation slate or 20 percent there will be 20 percent randomly select for validation from all images and now there will be extend we gonna add uh, data gen only in training data not uh, in testing so there will be target size base size we are selecting 32 and the shovel to now there is a test size we are only at image data generator not uh, do data gen because it is uh, only for testing now the next step uh, the next steps will be callback setup first of all we are at uh, optimizer we are using atom optimizer and the learning rate will be 0 0.001 now the chill, uh, there will be model checkpoint. We are uh, named uh, yt binary dot h5, and that our monitor validation loss uh, mode uh, will be minimum. So best only true. Verbus one. Verbus mean mean uh, it will give us one output, and the uh, only checkpoint it will be monitor validation loss. The main data three and patience we gonna add uh, four because we are uh, training um, less epochs so we are adding only four now the next step uh, our model there is the model i have already explained from the previous video you can check out so there will be five layers five of five conversion layers there is the first layer and the second layer third layer fourth layer and there is the fifth layer and there is platen tenth layer and uh, that too shows the classes the number of classes and segmoid are used for uh, binary classes and for multiple classes we are gonna add uh, um, solve max so mass for multiple classes and the segmoid for binary classes now there will be model uh, compile they are using automizer the optimizer adam 
loss categorical cross point matrix accuracy and there will be show model summary and now the next step uh, history history there will be we gonna add only five epochs and the steps per epoch so uh, uh, extron dot samples and the batch size and the validation steps uh, is equal to x test dot sample with the batch size and the callback will also callbacks and uh, now the the next step will be at for uh, giving output in graphs the accuracy and validation loss all so there will be remember that uh, the range of uh, graph uh, we gonna add six because we are training the model on depth epoch so we're gonna write a one one to six range uh, the graph so now we are training start so there will be the model summary the the number of images training 20 percent for validation and almost 30 percent for testing so it will be start the accuracy will be slowly slowly increased now it will be take some time almost uh, three minutes it all depends upon your system if you have more faster than uh, my system or you can use a faster gpu it will be more faster the training i have core i7 2600 system and i have 7 ppgy so i am not using for that uh, GUI. I'm training that on processor system processor so I think uh, the accuracy should be slowly increase until it will complete uh, we are uh, going to the GUI for the previous uh, model we have trained I have already trained that so I have trained a uh, run on because the current model will be take some time so don't uh, waste for time we are using the old model so there will be the model name and we are going to run that so it will be under process now there will be the GUI there is a button we are going to select the image randomly there will be all images and the training the testing and the original images there are uh, mixed healthy and all healthy images so we are going to select from here so here the first result it is unhealthy now we are checking the second image now it should be better result that is also correct now we are going to the next uh, earth a healthy leap we are checking now it will be correct uh, our model will be pretty much more good now excellent so i have cancelled that uh, so there will be almost done first epoch so we are training five epochs so it will time giving some time so i hopefully you will be learn from that video i have added the source code and the data set source code also link will be adding in the description you can check out that and run properly so see you in next video